Good to be here, Scott. Thanks. Ex increasing your exposure is kind of an understatement. I mean, you increased it by almost 150 percent in Q3. I mean, there, there's, you know, going all in and then there's kind of betting the farm. Well, you have to remember some of that is price appreciation. So, you know, Bitcoin was back at the 29,000 level at the end of May and now is uh, up in the mid 50s. And so you're getting the benefit of that. Uh, but we also launched a uh, ETF, CRPT, which is a sort of crypto ecosystem, publicly traded security ETF. Uh, we're about to uh, go to Abu Dhabi next week, Scott. We're going to be launching a $200 million cryptocurrency fund. It'll have some components of private equity and some components of the coins. And of course, this week down at the Cypher in Miami Beach, uh, we launched on December 1st, a $100 million Algorand fund. Uh, the Skybridge Research Department thinks that Algorand actually uh, has the opportunity to potentially flip Ethereum. It's, it's, it's faster, uh, lower transaction charges. It's a net negative carbon footprint. And as that community develops, I think we're sitting on with something like Algorand, uh, Google, uh, and you and I are old enough to remember when Alta Vista and AOL were the leaders at the nascent stages of the internet. Uh, and they were trumped by Google. And so something like Algorand is something we're putting a lot of money and resources in. And so, yes, we see this, uh, the blockchain and these currencies as big delayering mechanisms for the economy. And we certainly don't want our clients to miss that. Understood. But at what point do you feel like you could be too concentrated in, in crypto, regardless of how bullish you are? And I don't know if you're, you're willing to you know, give this number on, on live television, but in terms of Skybridge's overall assets, what percentage are in crypto relative to equities? Yeah, well, we've got we've got nine billion in assets. There's about one point three billion in cryptocurrencies right now uh, and different funds vary. Obviously, we have a, a pure uh, uh, First Trust Skybridge Bitcoin fund, First Trust Skybridge Ethereum fund. So those are pure plays, Scott. But in general, it's it's averaging anywhere from 10 to 25 percent, depending on the fund. Uh, but again, a lot of this stuff is from price appreciation. So remember, if you're on our core fund, Series G, which is up just over 20 percent this year, uh, you're getting the likes of 0.72 and Co2 and Dan Loeb's third point. Uh, but then you're also getting some cryptocurrency exposure as well. And I'll tell you, they have very good non-correlative properties relative to what's going on in the stock and bond market. And so, uh, so for us, we've got a lot of demand in these products right now. The firm is uh, on an upswing. I think this was a record year for us for revenues this year. Uh, and so I, I, I like the dynamics of where we're going. And I'm going to quote Warren Buffett, who hates crypto, Scott. Uh, he once said he wouldn't trade Michael Jordan for four scrubs and call it diversification. And so we don't want to sell, sell our winners here right now particularly where we like the macro backdrop. Understood. But there's, you know, people who get themselves into these positions where they're sitting on huge winners sometimes just rebalance the, the portfolio to decrease the percentage of the fund that has exposure yeah. to something that's appreciated as much as a, a crypto has, especially given the volatility that we may witness going forward. Right. But again, you have to remember volatility may not be a measurement of risk. You know, in early adoption technology stories, you're going to have to set some volatility as people get comfortable with the story. But I think your point's well taken. And I think our Skybridge research team, Ray Nolte and Brett Messing, I think you know both those guys a long period of time. They're looking at this every day. Well, we're managing our own money. Uh, to quote Leon Cooperman, we're eating our own cooking. Uh, so I've got a lot of my own money in that fund, if not all of it, except for the real estate holdings I have personally. And so we are watching it very carefully. And your point's well taken. At some point, we will rebalance on the margin, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't want to rebalance as we are seeing the arc of great opportunity. We predict a Bitcoin uh, cash ETF is coming. Right. I think that'll be another big leg up in demand. Scott. All right. It's good to see you, Anthony. Thanks for being here. That's Anthony Scaramucci, be Skybridge. Final trades are next.